Yeah, I could see that. What were your guys' like prices for dances, private rooms, oh, yeah. all that? Like our hours in Vegas were a thousand. Do you get to keep the whole thousand or yeah, so a thousand dollars? Bro, sign me up. Bro, I'm going to Vegas. What's going on? Wait, hold on. A thousand dollars an hour? <laughs> oh. Yo, I feel like these videos are perfect for streams, bro. Like, Jubilee is, is really like a W channel. Which stripper makes the most money? Like, this is like such an interactive video. You gotta guess who makes the most money. I'm not gonna lie, though. Like, if I if I wasn't doing, you know, streaming and YouTube or none of that, I would probably be a stripper because stripper make money and they make bread, bro. You just gotta know what you're doing and how you do it. You know, vibe out with people. You know what I'm saying? And I, I feel like I'm pretty good at that. You know what I'm saying? I just gotta hit the gym a little bit, be a big body. You know what I'm saying? And that's it, bro. Like, be honest, though. Yo, chat, be honest. If you would be if you would be a good stripper, <laughs> press one. <laughs> if you think you would be an L stripper, two. One, okay, I would 100%. I give all y'all a lap dance. Hold on. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, you're right. If I'm a stripper, I got to give people lap dances. I'm going to have to second guess my, uh, I'm going to <laughs> I'm gonna have to hold on. I don't, I don't know anymore. I could throw it back, but I couldn't climb a pole to save my life. I'll be throwing my ass in a circle on the daily. What did he say? Whoa, whoa, what's going, what's going on? Some strip places, you got to do them gawks. I'm not doing no gawks. I am not doing no gawks. No, thank you, bro. All right, let's start the video. So this is by Jubilee. You know what I'm saying? This might be on YouTube. So link to the original video down below, bro. Go check it out. Chat, I need you guys here 100%. This is about to be interactive, all right? We all got to come up with who makes the most money. Some guy asked to sniff my butt. Huh? <laughs> he, I mean, he tipped me for it. Um. Okay, all right. Not to sniff, but it's crazy. Bro, why the video started like that? Now, nah, for somebody to sniff my ass, bro. <laughs> I don't, it, it depends how I want money. Like, if I'm already if I'm already a stripper, bro, I, I feel like I would just let him do it for a calm, 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 calm honey. You know what I'm saying? Calm honey. I'm already a stripper. You know what I'm saying? But if he wants to keep going, it's gonna keep going up. I'm Ra Ra. My dancer name was Dylan. I haven't danced in like two years, but I was a stripper in Vegas. I was a dancer for like a year and a half. I'm Mariah. I have been dancing professionally probably the past few years only. I don't dance as much in clubs as much as I do like private events. Ooh, I'm Ashley. Ooh, that makes bread. My stage name is Claire. I have been dancing since I was 19, so like seven years, but I took like a three year break. I'm Hurricane. I'm 23. I'm a Pisces. I've been oh, stripping okay. for a year and two months. I started last year in May. Hey guys, I'm Ty. Uh, my dancer name she, is. She sounds. She sound not very confident she had to bring in the pisces thing <laughs> zodiac signs me, 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 me. Oh. hey guys i'm ty uh my dancer name is halo uh, i've been kind of in the scene for almost a year actually in may i'm selena i've been dancing since 2016 i took a couple years off i'm the president of strippers united Ooh. which is an organization that advocates for labor rights in the workplace for strippers oh okay. i follow you guys I oh, cool. I, yeah. I get your emails. Oh, hey, awesome. Yeah, I did. Oh, bro, she a boss. She a boss bitch. You know what I'm saying? But because she seems like a business owner or whatever, or she like owns something, people might say that she makes the most money. That's what I like about Jubilee. Like they, they just be throwing random people in there, and she's been doing it the longest. I think. I don't know. Wait, hold There's on. An event recently with the stripper strike no ho. Oh, awesome. Group. Yeah. The club Star Garden is striking. They wanted like a healthier environment. They were not paying the hourly wage that is mandated in the state of California. I think strippers also, there's like the kind of glamour of it. Like, you know, somebody who's like hot. Yo, Selena, she look good. You know what I'm saying? Selena look good. Hot look and good. like covered in like dollar bills. The glamorization glosses over like the bigger workplace abuses and situational things like the discrimination. Uh, the strippers must now rank themselves from who they think makes the least to most money. I feel like I need to switch with her because she's only dancing in Vegas and I know there's money in Vegas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna switch. <laughs> okay, yeah, I could see that. What were your guys' like prices for dances, private rooms, oh, yeah. all that? Like our hours in Vegas were a thousand for an hour. Do you get to keep the whole thousand or? Yeah, so in Vegas, you're self-employed. So you only pay okay. the night fee to work and then we didn't have to do any tip outs or anything because it was such a big effing club. Can you explain? thousand dollars bro sign me up bro i'm going to vegas what's going on wait hold on a thousand dollars an hour <laughs> bro. 
Oh, nah, thousand. Nah, okay, she definitely got it. Shout outs to her, bro. I don't know why there's this negative connotation, this negative thing going around strippers. Like, bro, they make bread. Just let them do their thing. What's going on? Explain what a tip out is. Like tipping out like the DJ, the security guards, the house mom, floaters, bouncers. Yeah. Yeah. We help them make money and they help by protecting us or like putting us on stage. So that's like our gratitude for them. But kind of, because also <laughs> like they're getting wages and it's also they like, are. they also can like hassle you and intimidate you or threaten your job that's if you true. don't. Yeah. I mean, I got a call in the middle of the evening from a manager who like threatened to take away my job if I didn't tip out enough. So I understand it's like different, but I had like a great experience in <laughs> Vegas where it's like everyone was there like to protect the dancers. We never got like a finger laid on us to do private dances. Every single booth had a camera and like yeah. they're watching. That was also my experience in Vegas. I felt so safe I and felt like so cared safe. for. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I do freelancing, but uh, as far as my prices, I would say above at least like four hundred. Four hundred, yeah. yeah. 400. So the most expensive one at my Bro, that is still a bag, bro. Wow. My club is 720, so for an hour. The most expensive one at my club is 900 for half an hour. As a trans woman, I haven't had like a situation where I've done Man, private deep. rooms. A lot of us don't get permanent gigs like that with clubs. Yeah, like a lot of the clubs are like trans night three times a month or something. Yeah which is like bizarre to me that we're in 2022 in Los <laughs> Angeles. For me, it would be an hourly thing. Yeah. So I try to do like a hundred an hour. One of the clubs that I've danced at, the most expensive dance was $800 for an hour. Mm. How much did you get to keep of that? 60, 40. And then how oh, much okay. did you get to keep of yours? 60, 40. 60, 40. I mean, again, I feel like the strippers are doing most of the work. So it's like keeping the 40% is crazy, bro. I don't know. Uh, like 50 50. i'm gonna say i feel like i should be a little bit closer yeah, i think you should be in the middle because i think 1800 an hour oh my. yeah <laughs> what's like the weirdest request oh because that kind of entails how much money you made some guy asked to sniff my butt <laughs> in the dance in the private dance room that's yeah, actually not I went to weird go get it. it's not it's not and like it was like through like you know my yeah. outfit and stuff but he's like oh like i have a kink like i like to sniff butts but he, i mean he tipped me for it um, okay yeah go ahead. yeah see okay see how she said it's not weird and she said how it's um like it's normal because it's just the environment you're in and she already, she was already wearing her clothes so when i said a hundred dollars some of y'all were like bro why are you only charging a hundred if it's like it seems like it's a normal thing bro and a hundred dollars to sit my butt is... <laughs> it seems like it's not bad i kind of want to hear how much you got for it Baby, like... yeah. mine's similar to that cause really i had a guy <laughs> he wanted me to fart on him <laughs> oh, what no oh. paying well tipping yeah, guys yeah. um i literally just had to sit over him for three hours and like fart on his face one guy wanted me to like humiliate him and like talk about his baby d and twist his nipples and talk about like how his nipples were like pathetic and like feminine to be honest i don't think i've gotten any weird requests at all <laughs> I think it was more of like a, a fetish thing. So I was yeah. I get a lot of couples. Well, I feel like maybe you would be on the end of that end. Yeah. Like the price point of your hours at your club were higher than the Vegas price point. I only get to yeah. keep 50% of mine. Oh, true. So, so 1,800, you keep 900. Run, run it back. And then I keep 1,000, so it's like yeah. the same. We get a lot of people oh. um, from like around Beverly Hills. So automatically people with a little bit more money. There's a lot of... Oh, Beverly Hills? What do you mean a little bit more money? Bro, I drove around Beverly Hills and Bel Air when I went to Cali for vacation. There is... Bro, what? Bro, these houses is crazy, bro. She has people that have bread. People um, from, like, around Beverly Hills, so automatically people with a little bit more money there's a lot of like real estate people we get some like bigger groups that usually just tip really well like on stage and stuff doctors athletes because there's a lot of games that happen okay girl my whole clientele is cis men yeah, like exactly. cis hetero men, cis -hetero men. Cis -hetero men. my demographic what is that okay <laughs> they love me yeah. <laughs> the craziest like most expensive gift You've gotten. Ooh, oh, here. These shoes, they were from freaking Versace. Okay, mm. then maybe we need to switch. Because my most expensive gift were these beads, and they were fake. Oh, <laughs> oh. Yeah, I was like, girl, why is there Chinese writing on the back? That's rude. Yeah. For me, it's been jewelry, earrings, and I've gotten some nice, like, little tennis bracelets. Mm. My most expensive gift has been a semester of tuition. 
Ooh. Wow. Good one. I think y'all might have to switch. <laughs> <laughs> I never got any. Regulars were not a thing in Vegas. Yeah. Because everyone is traveling. Yeah, into it's Vegas. like transient. Yeah. Which is kind of, it could be good because it's like people want to like spend in that moment yeah. and go all out. Oh, well, yeah. I was going to say my most expensive gift is my Cartier bracelet. Ooh. But after you said your tuition, I had two years of my. Yo, chat. Yo, chat. Speaking of Cartier. Oh, uh, light. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Hey, peep the ring, bruh. Yo, you see the diamonds on right there? I got diamond, two diamonds on it. Two diamonds on it. Stop playing with me. Oh, I'm light. I'm light. I ain't buy it, though. I ain't buy it. I, ain't, I did not buy it, okay? So don't think I got money. Don't think that I ain't trying here, bro. It was a gift, okay? So, so I say my most expensive gift is my cartier bracelet but Ooh. after you said your tuition i had two years of my tuition for my master's in studies of law paid oh yeah. yes it's a lot of emotional labor they'll literally come in and be like oh like my mom just died it's nice to like be there for them and it helps create that personal intimate relationship mm. but it is pretty exhausting to hear like 10 stories like that a night yeah do you guys think that aesthetic plays into it like ethnicity body type oh, for oh. Sure. yes yes yeah. yes because it's, it's all about kinks it just depends on that person's kinks and what they want so if somebody want a latina bow girl on the left they want a man they're into the you know gay scene whatever bow man right there trans right there like there's just you know what i'm saying it just all depends on what you like what what your type is plays into it like ethnicity body type oh, oh for sure, sure. yeah it's divided like every other bit of society is like whiteness is you know like top tier body size is definitely like heavily valued i've always get told like i'm more exotic looking i mean i, I am mixed but like you don't look too black and i'm just like what black? what what? Yeah. Exactly. 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 what what are you talking about he's black exactly. Exactly. Like, what do you mean like, what? Like, trans women who are passing that are dancing in these spaces that's like a risk for them because yeah. if anyone finds out and they didn't know and they're not comfortable like these men they get violent they get really violent uh, they will murder you they're, sometimes exactly like, yeah and the club that's what true. is unfortunate is that the management thinks that they can pick what girls are attractive when in reality customers are the one giving the money yeah yes. there's a high possibility i'm going to be told i can't even work there definitely have a voice to stand up for yourself because people do try to fuck with you in the club mm. and you just have to be like a strong person i think we could switch okay she said she got her tuition paid i think me and you switch was only because you worked like less hours maybe girl you okay. get your coin Come yeah on. <laughs> how does the actual like dancing ability come into play do you think that that sort of plays i don't think so no no it really doesn't no. i wouldn't say i'm a trained dancer I'm very just like seductive. It's not like I'm busting a move or something. Right. I'm not Janet out here. <laughs> People just want in their face. They want like an intimate dance instead of like, look at all these tricks I can do. They want to be like, oh yeah, she's dancing for me. Yeah, they want like the eye contact. They want like you to smile at them and like yeah. make them feel special. And then they want like to in their face. Not a lot of people can do this. Okay. You about to backflip? Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. So are we locked in? Is that what's happening? I think we're locked in. Yeah, we're locked in. I think so. Uh, okay, the strippers must now... So... The strippers must now rearrange themselves from lowest to highest take home pay in one, in one night. Okay. So in the sixth spot, we have Mariah at 600. The biggest take home in one night. That's mad good still. Fifth spot, we have Halo at 800 in one night. Oof. Fourth spot, we have Hurricane at 840 in one Talk night. Talk your shit. Third spot, we have Ashley at 3300 in one night. Oh my, bro, imagine, oh my God, 33 bands a night, bro. Nah, shout out to these people, bro. Girl, <gasps> make them pockets hurt. <laughs> in our second spot, we have Rochelle at 4,000 in one night. And in our first spot, we have Selena at 5,000. Damn. <laughs> hey. That's right there. Yeah. Hey, GG, bro. I just met a nice corporate litigator, and you just fell in love. Mine was off of a spinal cord surgeon. Oh, hell yeah. Who was, like, in his 70s, just doing <laughs> and off my the whole yeah. night. Yeah. Wow. I should have wow. put you on the wheel that night. <laughs> and his Are you sure you're going to wake time. up tomorrow, sir? <laughs> Okay, so, okay, well, damn. Um, 
I thought she might have been a, you know, like an obvious pick because, you know, she owns the thing and blah, blah, blah. So, well, it turns out she is number one's most, you know, income, whatever. I don't know if I expected this or not. You guys are a little, Wait, oh. a little bit different. You guys aren't necessarily in the club a lot or like... At all. Yes, because I'm sure you guys have had really good nights, but outside of the club. Yeah. I know you make money. So, I know. I yeah. I'm, I'm happy with it. It doesn't change how I feel about stuff anyway, because, you know, I know I'm beautiful, and I know that this is only going to be a step to stone to get where I really want to go. Yeah. And you're a king. Yeah, plus, I think they've been in there for, like, what, a year? These two or these three, and then only two of them have been there for a minute. So, bro, yes, king, queen, all that, yes. I mean, I've been in, in this industry for a little while, so it's like you know, I think the longer you're in it, the more opportunities you have. Facts, I do this bro. This was this was a W video, bro. Honestly, I even I forgot to to even rank them. I was just so in tune and interested in like how how much money they made, bro. Major fan of Selena and the way she carries herself, pure elegance. Yeah, bro, she she looked pretty good. I love how supportive and they are with one another despite how they're being compared but the thing is even if they're being compared about money at the end of the day bro they all make bread like even 600 like realistically 600 a night is pretty good bro and like and like i said like they have only been it for like a year or so yo you give them another two three years they're probably making even more than that that's crazy no cat 1800 an hour bro that's rent Facts. Oh my God. Yes. That's what I meant by realistically speaking. Like you're, you're making your rent money in, in no time.